In this video, we're talking about harnesses and do they stop dogs pulling? Well, there are different types of harnesses out there and it's important to find the right one that may or may not work for you. Worthy of investigation because harnesses cost money and you can waste a lot of money. And there are other ways you can get your dog to follow you too. My name's Dick Hill from Canine Care. Let's get into it. So harnesses, there are two different styles of harness you can get. The things that differentiate them is where the lead attaches on the dog. This is a front attached harness. When you put it on your dog, who's very nicely waiting for us here, harness sits like this. This belly strap goes under the belly here. Unfortunately, this one's not big enough for this dog. Um, and quick tip, don't buy a harness online. Go to a shop and get it fitted because this may happen to you. So what happens here, the lead attachment is at the front here. And we get our lead and we attach it onto our dog and it's attached from the front. Now that means when the dog pulls, it turns their body around and they can't and they won't pull you going backwards. Now the other type of harness that you get can look like this. And what happens with these harnesses, I don't actually have one, is that the lead attaches on the back of the dog here. Now, when you have the lead attaching here and you have this chest plate at the front, when your dog pulls, they can pull with all of their might. Like, think husky, think sled. Those guys have specific harnesses with chest plates on the front here and attachments at the back that allow them to pull in the group people on a car. It's huge, right? So if you put a harness like this on a big, strong dog that really likes to pull, you're only exacerbating the situation. Now, the good thing about harnesses is this, they do take pressure off the dog's trachea, this soft area here, um, which is very important to protect. But a harness that has a chest plate and attaches at the back will often encourage dogs to pull you more. If you do decide to use one, get one that fits your dog, go to a shop and get it fitted and do your research as to whether or not you actually need to use one. I just walk shanty on the lead and the collar and that's what I teach my clients to do and that just may work for you. Now here's a quick thing, harnesses do break. If you do buy one, get a quality one, make sure it has good stitches. This harness belongs to a friend of mine, Phil, and his dog, Rosie, and it broke the other day when she was pulling around like an idiot, as some dogs do when they're teenagers. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, leave me a comment. Please like, subscribe. I know a lot of my videos get seen in the US, so if you're in America, thanks for watching, and maybe leave me a comment and let me know where you are. All right, guys, see ya.